everybody, Larkin Green here again with FPD. Today I'm going to talk about an issue that's come up as a result of the industry changing to these green square mixing tips and the problems that it presents when you're pouring in underneath a pad. So Vettec, the pioneer of the pour-in materials, um, always told us that you need to insert that mix tip all the way to the toe under the pad and back it out as you fill. And that way you wouldn't trap air bubbles um, or create voids and um, in, the, in the really hot summer temperatures, uh, sometimes the material might set before it actually reaches the toe. So I'm going to show you a couple ways around that and, and literally uh, show you how to get around fitting a square peg into a round hole. But before I do that, I want to talk about the pad itself because the pad that you choose um, has a significant impact on, uh, on what you're putting underneath there and, and whether it's going to do its job. So this is a uh, Kirkhart daily pad. It's an eighth inch flat pad. It's made of polyurethane, so it's super durable, uh, doesn't compress, um, and it provides some concussion relief. But one of the things I really like about this pad is that you can see through it. And so you know exactly where materials are going um, and whether you've got it fully filled or not. So with a leather pad or a solid color pad, you really don't know where materials are going um, or where they might migrate or, or where you might have created a void. And so having a clear pad that you can see through is really helpful. Um, so um, let's zoom in close and I'll show you a couple of ways to get around the square peg in the round hole problem. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you will hopefully eliminate the need for the other two options. Um, we know that on, on feet that are very flat, we're going to have to drill holes in the pad over the deepest parts of the foot and, uh, and fill it that way. And, and that's still okay. But for the majority of situations, um, I'm going to show you that you really don't need to insert the mix tip under the pad at all. And you can still get complete fill and, and flow all the way to the toe. And that's primarily because this new 210 uh, cartridge system has uh, dispensing ports that are so much larger, the material flows a lot better. And so you can dispense it a lot quicker. And that's really an advantage. Um, when you're, uh, when you're trying to fill a pad just while um, holding the mixing tip at the heels. So we're using uh, Vettec uh, Equipack CS, so it's teal colored, so you'll be able to see the contrast through this, uh, this clear Kirkhart pad here. So let's see what it looks like. So you really just need to hold this at the toe, or I'm sorry, at the heels, and fill it one side, you can Take it out and move it to the other side. You can press on it to expel out any air. And that gives you a complete fill. So you can see that there's no voids. It's actually completely filled the toe and it's flowed there without any problem. Now if this were a very flat foot, then of course, um, as I mentioned, we, we, we would be drilling holes in the pad and filling it that way. But I think this is gonna work um, you know, 90 percent of the time just fine and uh, it's nice that you can see that every area is filled completely. Okay, so as long as these materials are in their optimum operating range which is 60 to 85 degrees you're not going to have any problem just holding the mix tip at the heels and filling the, the pad completely. If it's, if it's really hot or if you've um, stored the materials in, in high temperatures, if it's over 100 degrees outside and the materials are that temperature as well, then you do run the risk of having the material um, start to set up before it actually flows to the toe. So here's a couple other things that you can do. Um, this is a uh, McDonald's straw, which happens to fit over the end of this mix tip. And you got to put a little piece of duct tape on there. Um, to hold it on and that way you can insert that under the pad and again back it out as you fill. Um, so that's that's one option. The other option is the use of this quarter inch vinyl tubing. So a quarter inch ID uh, fits very snugly over this mixing tip. Same thing, you insert it at the heels under the pad and back it out as you fill. So those are a couple of options if, uh, if you really are concerned about the material um, setting before it reaches the toe. So as with most industries, there's always changes in materials, uh, techniques, and methods. And uh, it's nice to know that there are fairly simple workarounds to these problems that we encounter sometimes. Um, 
hope this helps. That's how I do it. You go do it your way.